Hello, uh, so a few weeks ago, I was so impressed by your modern art, uh, by your Japanese artists. As you see, this is a picture, and uh, I guess you see the real fish inside the small cap, but actually this is not a real one. Actually, this is a hand drawing, hand drawing in the epoxy resin. In the pamphlet, uh, here is the procedure. The first air the clear and hand draw by the pen and finally it is completed and actually this art inspires me a lot I was so impressed so but actually unfortunately I'm not artist and I cannot draw well but I can make the circuit so this art inspired me to make something related to the electronic circuit. The very the initial stage I just put the component inside the resin. It's a super clear. But uh, it is not so interesting. This is a uh, Intel's 8386 and also here is some component inside resin. It is very static. And the uh, next one I put the solar cell, solar cell with battery and as you see uh, there is some circuit because uh, the, this battery, the nickel hydrogen will produce a 1.2 volt but the LED requires 3 volt so we need a, a voltage booster. So I put the very simple circuit inside and uh, during the daylight the power is charge through the solar cell to the battery and when the surrounded is dark it will turn the blue light as you see but I have a small fear to include a chemical like a battery inside a regime for the long time operation so I change the policy not to include any battery I want to make totally bat battery less system and uh, as you know uh, the Qi, the wireless power transfer system is well known and uh, well uh, utilized various um, cell phone and uh, Apple Watch the charging. The, the circuit is very simple just put the small coil as you see it's uh, super clear. The coil inside regime and put in some receiving circuit and the commercial standard circuit will uh, generally produce a 5 volt and the 5 volt is very useful for driving a small circuit and I make the first one with BLE it's a Nordic semiconductor NLA51 and uh, now let's see how it works this is a transmitter and put on the top you see the green light is blinking during the blinking the direct firmware uploader is receiving the new firmware and after that as you see there now the blue LED is turned on meaning that some firmware is running on the module and now let's connect to the iPhone. Yeah, iPhone and open very controller and the scan. As a result of scan, it connected. Yeah, you see the color of LED will change by the slide bar. You see, and the story connected to the iPhone through the BRE. And uh, uploading the new firmware to the NRF is relatively easy and not fear to lose control, uh, meaning that it turns bleak if the firmware upload is fail. And this is by the BRE. And also I made another work. Another work is with 
actually this is a ESP32 ESP32 Pico inside the regime and as you may know the ESP32 chip require uh, producer relatively high heat heat production so um, this is not so efficient because of epoxy has very small heat propagation but I put a small heat sink just just make it sure and also I put the chi receiver as same as previous one and the receiving circuit and I put my ESP32 Pico board it has a tiny OLED display inside resin and also I put the RZV LED. Now let's see how it works. Yeah, it says Blamid. And the firmware can be uploaded through the over the air through the Arduino IDE very easily. Now I change try to change the firmware to the another one. I prepare please wait. Now compiling and connecting to the uploading. It takes a bit time. Please wait. The uploading. Now it's done. As you see, the new firmware will count up the time every one sec, and uh, as you see, it totally battery less. It's very clear. No fear to to the chemicals, as you see. Yeah, like that. And uh, I think the next step I want to in include more complex or more useful pyramid inside resin. Have fun!